Hey guys, how are you? It is Eric Techstuffs, and we're back with this TR7950 by Kenwood. Of course, this is my old man's radio. And in previous videos, we did the Arduino-based uh, CT, CSS, and Tone encoder board because this wasn't really used with uh, CT, CSS, Tones uh, back in the early 80s. It started to get uh, more prominent throughout the 90s and so. And now you really can't use these radios uh, without a CTCSS tone option. Now, Kenwood did sell that TU79. We talked about it before, but literally, um, it's a set of matrix um, F1, F2, F3 you can set up. And basically, it's a whole bank of diodes, and you have to use dikes to clip them. And this is the tones that you would use and what diodes of the, of the six you actually had and what order. So yeah, you would basically have to clip the diodes and put them back together. And uh, in a mobile unit, that's really not helpful. Now in a base unit, yeah, you could probably get away in your area with using the three frequencies, but not really in a mobile. So this, even though this was the uh, standalone option, now they do make another one and you can sometimes find these, but like I said, they're mounted into the radio. So unless you're, running it outside the radio you're gonna have to tear it apart you know every set of repeaters in towns you go through and this was sent down to me because my old man wanted to use this to travel he enjoyed this radio he was getting up in the years and he didn't want to relearn a new radio but yeah that ctcss tone options really don't work because more than three so a lot of these are always still seen on ebay and such that um I believe this was pretty much like an ICOM 7300. Everyone seemed to have had one, and they're always seemingly available in different um, different fashions. Some do come with the tone board, and I've seen some crazy prices on this radio. But we're just going to do some updates on this, because this tone board that I made out of Arduino, like I said, you can go through and key up. Um, I put a switch on the back to turn it on and off, and of course I took one of the speaker screws out to be able to get down into it. Um, now this Arduino, um, and I did get the uh, idea to do this off of Dave's uh, website, so I'll put his uh, channel down below if you want to look at this, but uh, just like he said, the sine wave here isn't um, exactly perfect. It will work. Of course, I couldn't get the deviation set up properly, so I'd always have sometimes a buzz in the back of my voice because of the CTCSS just uh, continuously uh, transmits when you're transmitting. So I um, wasn't able to uh, nullify that. So I decided let's go back to a period piece and um, open this radio up. Of course, it's always funny when I open this radio up because this is the very thing my father always told me as a, as a small boy, don't open this radio up whatsoever. I was one of those child that would get birthday gifts and Christmas gifts and just rip them apart to find out how they worked course being young I wouldn't be able to put them all back together or sometimes I wouldn't have you know specialized the tool kits with different screw tips on it and find what I could and bust up my old man's tools so it's always fun getting into this but I'm gonna take this back to exactly kind of what he wanted and um, you know I told him hey man we can do that really easy come to find out that part is not available either but we're gonna go ahead and get CT CSS tone board set up properly would be nice for this radio. Of course, my father has since passed, so he won't be able to get to enjoy this radio. But on this, uh, yeah, that uh, wasn't really an option back in the 80s, and so I remember all these repeaters being open, doing foam patches off this from Canada, all the way down to uh, New York, two hours away, traveling. Uh, he was able to link up the foam patches on the repeaters and, and communicate that way and stuff. So let's uh, just be very careful opening this radio because I'm always still very nervous. Like I said, as a kid, I was not allowed to open this, so. We'll be back and uh, we're going to remove all this stuff and um, show you what we think we can use as a replacement tone board because, yeah, this TU-79 doesn't work. So, hmm. Another day and a little bit farther along, I almost forgot to turn the camera on. So I have the 7950 taken apart and all the wires out of the way from the board. Everything does disassemble and this is the control board that you're going to want to use. And I'm just taking this out because I actually... From the previous use i took out the white pin-in connector and since we're not going to use that i just kept that off to the side and i will just solder in 
the uh, connections for this new tone board. Oh, I almost forgot the new tone board, or well, yeah, it is a newer one. I did notice this knob is loose. We're gonna have to take care of that, and we're gonna get the uh, connections done on that. Uh, but we're gonna use the old Comspec uh, Communication Specialist TE32. This will give you the 32. Uh, CT CSS tones and we'll be able to uh, pipe the wires in that it comes with. It's actually kind of a beefy cable and not that many hookups. It looks like we have our ground and our audio uh, power. So that's great. So this is a whole big box and it does come with the screws off. And I guess the guy is true. He didn't use this at all. So it comes with these instructions for the, in the encoder, but it pretty much refers to this SS64. Um, or hookup instructions. Um, see the SS for optional hookups, CTS encoder uh, refers to everything refers to this. But real basic simple unit it seems, um, but yeah, then it gives you these the micro miniature 64 which does have all the 64 tones uh, that are in there but not the standard tones. There's a lot in there that aren't. But 32 that would get us to the repeaters we're trying to use, so that's good. Let's, let's put these instructions away because it's pretty basic with the way these are, and it even comes with the uh, little pot socket to adjust your deviation, and the screws to put it back together, and a little mounting plate. It's a very light unit here. Uh, well, let's go ahead and just take a look inside real quick. There we go. All right, well, wow. Mm. <laughs> Not much in this whatsoever. Uh, biggest part in here is a cable tap and tie. But uh, yeah, now I know why they said to refer to the micro mini unit. This is the uh, similar to what would have dip switches and stuff, and that would you could actually put inside, I guess. But we don't have that. We wanted this one, ease of use. But man, we could use a very small box <laughs> and put actually change that out. But we're leaving everything as is. Um, does have the the gray uh, the tone burst option, the gray and orange there. Um, the audio, which is actually now going to be our white. You can see that coming off of the off of this board here. And I did look up some instructions on how to possibly connect this up. So we're going to take a look at all that. But first thing, we got to get this big wire through into this radio. Because I'm just going to mount it on top like I did the other one. And let's see. Oh, okay. There we go. We have a hole. We may be able to uh, drill out and put a grommet in. Oh, yeah. It's a straight through shot. I can see it. It comes, it comes in through there. And we actually... Um, need to go on the bottom side which is easy to do be able to bring this thing up and uh, land it in the tone board so we're going to go ahead and do that um, go ahead and draw some holes be back and back with the communication specialist t32 we got this wired up we got to put it into our grommet in the back very nice and I will show you the connections very quickly. I have to pull off this blue cable. These are the connections for your TR 7950, 7930. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to run the white wire right here to the TO, that is the audio. Sometimes it come up as yellow. And your black, you're gonna to run to E. And your red, which is actually a eight volt switched for transmit only, we're gonna go ahead and add the red to the 8T and uh, traced it back and uh, drilled out the back side here. So we are done in the radio. We're gonna go ahead and put this uh, back in and put the covers all on it. Put the covers on this after we do deviation settings for the CTCSS tones. And we should be back on the air. Man, this was fun. This is fun. Everything pretty much wrapped up. I'm definitely thinking of changing out that wire to a headphone jack in that grommet and uh, be able to use a stereo headphone jack since it's a three wire hookup. And since you only talk on one radio at a time and this is just the CTCSS tone encoder, this will receive just fine without it. Just won't be able to talk on it. And that's all right too. So we have this in the off position. We have this set at one, two, three, zero. I have already identified and going into a dummy load, so don't worry about that. I always identify, even if I use a dummy load, because that's what they say, even if you're transmitting 
air still. Anyway, regardless, we're going to go ahead and just show you this quick and dirty setup with the receive tone enabled here, 1230, which means when I key up testing, 123, no tone enabled, 123 testing. You'll see it light up like a Christmas tree. It is receiving traffic, but you're not hearing it due to the tone squelch on the receive side. So we got this set up, 1230, which is what this receive is. So we use the red middles off blue at the top is the outside um, on this side blues and reds are on the sides here so we ended up going down to red one two three zero one two three zero tone enabled testing one two three four testing one two three four testing with the tone enabled so there it is it works so if you go to any other tone it's not going to pick it up it'll show traffic Testing one, two, seven, three. Testing one, two, seven, three. So it doesn't work on one, two, seven, three as it shouldn't. And we are in good shape. Nice and quiet, minus a squeal right there. Apologize. One, two, three, four, testing complete. So there it is. Got this back to normal. And another thing is, I saw a couple other interesting notes on this little piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and make another video on that. But uh, yeah, th this one rides again. She's back in service. I'm gonna go ahead and um, hook this up, do a little bit more uh, work on getting this stabilized and put it on the air on a repeater. So we should be able to punch into any one of those repeaters and uh, dial up the tones and call it a day. We'll see you in the next couple of videos, just some basic stuff on this that I was able to finally get done. My dad would definitely have enjoyed using this radio now. But some of these are unobtainium pieces. You have to wait around to try and find one. So, see you in the next one. Hope it helps somebody.